on the, uh, the right-hand side. And we're saying that Bryce can't wait to run through. He's trying, he has plenty of work to do too, Tom. They're checking the instruction which has been clear. So to try, to try. The kick down coming before the hand of the shin. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Hickey's got to be careful kicking out like that too. I know you do anything to try and stop a try, but you can't do that. Open the ball now. Ball on the goal line. Let's go to review any potential contact by the Warriors coming in with the so, goal line. Goal line is good enough for a full quarter. We'll just review whether it might be an eight-point try or a potential eight-point try. If they do not kick out by Hickey, as could be a conversion from the try out wide. And it's not a shot from the front blocker. Yeah, you can tell we've got to get the ball a little bit. Try that. No, no, it's about that. You can see his eyes wide up too, John. As I said, the response that came in at screen. And the decoy run through by Cartwright. The decision was made by the defender to come in on Cartwright. Good play. And it hit back pretty well too, haven't they? But it was a 12 points to nil. They hit back. Unlucky not to score only a few minutes ago. But this time, John makes good of the of the effort. And he won't pay a higher price for that lunge with the leg. And Anthony Don. It's a good story. He's 32 years of age now. Blocker made his NRL debut in his mid 20s. And the draft can go. He's got 81, so he might well finish with 100. <laughs> Everything inside you is like a twin. Hope he does get a hundred. He's off contract, so he needs to sign a new deal. We have an exceptional big crack in the 2020. Let's see what happens as Ash Taylor nudges this one through. Dominate the way they feel at the moment, and you can see players on both sides controlling each other a little. Yeah, tough to end a game like that for sure. But still, we're happy with their performance. They talked about the consistency, and I think tonight they can definitely be proud of how they stayed in the game. You know, Pulse did have that little five goal lead, but they came back at them, which is awesome for them to see. See in that huddle a number of players who have dealt with serious injury, a number of them. I'm thinking of Kelly Jury just back this year, who is with shoulder trouble. Good to see her fully fit and no strapping. Nice to see the coaches just off the shot there, having a little chat, and I'm sure they will be having a little bit to say to each other just about how you take care of these players. The next go down very shortly. I think we will be able to hear from Katrina Rory, the winning captain. Well, Katrina, good for us, but they pushed you, boy. Three goals. Look at the skill on us. I'm not sure what it is. Look at us down two years and just our rivals, but you know what, they've I know second injury in the game that's really sad to go down and we're all mates off the court, so it's it's pretty tough to see. Um, I know anyone get injured, so I hope hope they're all right. Steel won the first and last quarter. I guess consistency perhaps something that you'll be looking at. Yeah, there is. Um, last week we had our double header. Didn't play very well and then came out firing the next day. And yeah, um, yeah, we need to really address that. Look at some footage, really kind of figure out what we're doing when we go back on the court and been consistent for 12 minutes. Talk to Kelly at half time about how the steel team played. I've been patient with the ball. Do you find that hard to get ball off as a defender? That's so hard to get ball off. We definitely have our leaf games whenever we play against them. Um, they don't look long. Kim and Dina, obviously very safe with ball in hand, very fast. Very happy just to pass to each other as well. Um, so, yeah, so it's good on them. <laughs> to her, she came on in that last quarter. What does she bring down there to take in? Yeah, something totally different. And Maddie and her share that role, I think, really, really well. When you have a point of difference, it's always good to put it on and keep the opposition guessing. Um, and so we're very... And there's the catch and a bite of wicket. Okay, Lewis picks up the fine bit of Mark Taylor. Out for 13 of 38 deliveries. It's 2 for 23. It's Steve Waugh, who's really been struggling for his best form. And he's been sent in at four by Alan Border. And he slashes that one over point. Torsif has a long chase. 
tell you what, uh, it's put, brought together a very good combination of runners. That's one big advantage, and, and perhaps that's why Alan Border has dropped himself down the line, so that Wall can come in and run with Dean Jones. Fine with the run rate. Well, that was a nervous start, wasn't he? He really went after that one, hit plenty of meat on it. And it is to be spin at the members' end, Nadim Guri. <laughs> She lets him get on the back foot. That's what will happen. Very strong player off the back foot, Steve Waugh. Superb shot hitting with the spin. We drop it short. There's the ball off the back by the Australians. Bad ball, great shot. And the gap is right off the middle. Always going to be full. Just the hint of a slip at uh, the non striker's end there. The throw was good. So was the running. It looked to say he made up his mind. There was two straight away. Mm -hmm. no, no slip. Really motoring. So well, that was a great delivery from Wazi Makram. The in-swinging Yorker hitting the base of the leg stump. You cannot have uh, much closer to perfection than that. Good tactics, going around the wicket, a couple away from him, then two bending back in, and that one went a long way. Started off a long way outside the off stump, it's way back the leg stump. And that's exactly what Imran Khan needed. Four out for 13, and Australia, three for 54. Alan Border, the skipper. Jones charged, he does the job. Fine shot, Border goes down, but that's four all the way. Charged at the young fast ball, hit him on the up. Great shot. <laughs> and Jones making his mind up to break the shackles. Really broke the captain's head. This guy was by 30 years ago. I came over Papa to me. We have watched this. Wait, so. This TV yeah. was bought in 1990, well, I think. Me, this car, as you can see, you've got an airbag. Oh, he's watching the pump, you're going to watch one. This TV was bought in 1990. This TV? Want a TV up your stink hole? Come here. I'm going to watch one. I'm going to watch we turn the inside out by stretching it as on the side. Unrecognisable. And your daughter will be the same. I think we need to keep looking. Wrapped up by Arrow, got away, get, and Peachy. 
That's tackle four. Hedrington. Passing for Murchie. Make the mid-season move after COVID from Canberra to the Warriors. Last play. Egan goes deep. Great ring is there. The grubber good into the uprights. In the end goal. And Aaron Clark is forced to clean up. Great green forces the goal line dropout on the goal cut. Yeah, it was a great kick, wasn't it? Delivery the game in for that upright. What a wonderful kick in game three. It's not the side of the boot. The chase wasn't that strong there from the Warriors. It should have been a little bit more urgency, but it's to be the Harris that makes the tackle. Or Harris to be the sorry. That makes the tackle. Forces the line dropout. Here they come. They're just trying to wear the Titans out. Wayne Green in his third and what we heard last year as a warrior, which many people, including New Block, have struggled to believe. Here's James Tamanga. His first game of 2020. The yeah, bench player of the year only a couple of years ago. This guy will bring plenty of energy. Ankle surgery in the off-season into a hard strain. Which has kept him out of set. Restarted there early in the sets. And the pressure mounts on Gold Coast. Hit play. Slow that through speed. As the Warriors attack, two of us are shed. Shrugging out a long tackle. Across the field. Looking to link. He does with Green. He's a tackle. 11 out. Two of us check. Had some success down this side. Murchie might make it continue. Level three tackle. Held up by Stone. I'm just watching the reaction of the Titans players. Warriors have forced him into the line dropout now. They've been able to strike a couple of times. Haven't been able to get the ball down. Have a look and see what their resilience is like now. Murchie is still hunting his first NRL try. He went close to Lunga. Even <laughs> the girl coming half into the uprights and they deny him for a second time. He doesn't mind backing himself. Stupid. 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 Possession. Jack Hedrington takes away that opportunity to take possession. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon that's wrong because he, he had his hands, two hands in the footy, and then lost it. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Uh, that's all disagrees with you. Why can't I
Corey Parker in the 347 gamer at the Broncos. What did you make of that, Will? Yeah, look, I thought that was play on for mine. I mean, it wasn't to know that the ball wasn't in his arms. He was going to make the tap once the ball had left. He was then going to go try and score a try. We didn't even get to that point. And the Gold Coast Titans have let off the wall. It was a, uh, I mean, they've completed and we've we spoken about all this first half. Four sets, and they try and force an off break. Sometimes they're not believing you don't deserve it. Just the worm. That's no, mine, it's Godzilla, have a look. Mm. Well, that's my thought, no, what is this? The worm's inside. It's three of them, it's three of them. I know. Watched this movie before. No, you haven't. What's it called? I've watched it before, but. Is that it? Godzilla 2. Parts. It's the best parts of the year to come. Deadlocker. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, is it Oracle Bandalia? Come here, you can try that. Half time, when this one out, let's go half time. What time is it? Half time. About nine o'clock, about four to nine. Ten to nine. So two rounds? Right, my four. How fast are you going to be tonight? You're going to be early. Yeah, that means two hours. Yeah. Fuck's sake! Well, it looks like they're desperate to score, doesn't it? They've forced the line drop out, and then again they've caught up the Titans and got the top and the ball back in. The back there, and another knock on. Circumstances. It's three in the tackle, four in the tackle now, and it's not really a long way. It's a really <coughs> ball out the back, Jewelbar shaking his head. It looks like he's going to be a little bit more traded now. The Warriors only 12 6, it should be a lot, a lot more on the scoreboard than that.